they are on your character or they are on your clothes so i loved rochelle's craftsmanship and when i talk of craftsmanship i see another possibility of greatness emerging i see uh, i see traces of a great craftsman emerging and i in a minute i explain what i mean by this uh, the stories describe in atmosphere all stories do that right all stories create an atmosphere great writers like chekhov the most celebrated christopher fry and many others so one phrase that we use for the likes of chekhov and christopher fry is that they don't just describe a situation of life or a slice of life every tool in their craft works to create a mood rochelle's two stories stand out in my mind um everything every metaphor i mean this was a very good structure in the story called honor but um, i don't know are you a mathematician by training <laughs> no 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 so every phrase every expression you know a as she mentioned it's not just the five senses with which she views she talks of nine senses memory nostalgia what else several other things she talks about not just uh, seeing she smells the seeing you know how the senses are juxtaposed so she tastes the air uh, she smells the hard work on the handrail of a bridge you know so i love that phrase so coming back to generating a mood so for chekhov and other playwrights we call them mood dramatists and i would like to if there is time i would like to illustrate what i mean when i talk of uh, rochel creating that mood through every arrow in her quiver because everything works not just the narrative the story line the plot but every other thing generates that mood that atmosphere which contributes to a very heightened experience other than just the narrative of the story so i'll just start with the i need to put down the mic i'll read i've marked it <coughs> in the book itself <coughs> 